everybody, Dr. Sean here. This time I'm doing a video about a capability I want to share with my followers. This is an important capability as you develop an interest in health and your bodies become more healthy, what you do with your bodies needs to improve as well. So this is a primitive movement. This is a primitive posture that's been with us for millions of years. I'm not really clear when it got started, but it's, it's part of our biology. Even though it's largely been abandoned in a, from a Western perspective and Western, uh, quote, civilized countries, um, it's something that you would have done as a child. And the position, what it is, is squatting, okay? So squatting right away, the term doesn't sound good because most of you don't squat. You only squat when you have to do something. And when you squat, you only squat improperly because you've lost that capability. You were perfect experts when you were a young child. You would just drop down, you'd play around on the ground, seashells, you'd have so much fun. This is what you did for hours and hours on a seashore. But today, because of chronic disease, mostly visceral fat, infecting your joints, infecting your muscles, infecting your tendons with inflammation, through inflammation, you've lost that capability. So here's, here's how much you squat. You squat in this manner. And, and some of you can only get down like this and you gotta get down, you're really unstable and your heels are up in your air. That's the, the um, pathognomonic finding of a Westerner with chronic disease and their heels are up and they lack that mobility. So how do you acquire the ability to squat naturally and beautifully and for a long period of time in a way that you enjoy it? Well, it's like many other things, you gotta work on it, okay? So not super fast, I want you to work slow the last thing I want to, want to have happen is that you get injured or have some sort of a bad experience with this. So um, to get started, you may need to use something like a table. So we'll use this uh, table to hold on to, to give you an idea. And if you absolutely have to have your heels up, you can keep them up, but practice bringing them down, okay? And see how low you can get with practicing it and just holding that posture. If this is the best you can do, it's the best you can do and hold that for a while and then relax and come back up until you build up your, your strength in your legs uh, so that you're able to do that. And gradually over a period of time, you're gonna get lower and lower um, and become more functional, more comfortable with uh, being able to get into that, that position. So why do you wanna to get to that position? Well, let me go in that position and talk to you about that. So the reason you wanna get in that position is, first of all, observe what, what happens when I go in that position. Look at um, the degree of angulation in my knees. This is something that most Westerners cannot achieve, nor the degree of angulation in my hips. And my ankles and my feet, this improves the postural alignment of your entire, basically your entire body um, is optimized in this particular state. And not only does it help to induce uh, and maintain um, and increase the flexibility in all your joints and your musculoskeletal system. Um, but it also helps to increase blood flow because now you're lining, aligning uh, your vasculature in a way that favors uh, improved blood flow and also favors neurologic um, alignment. We are adapted through four, basically four million years or so of human existence. Um, that uh, we've acquired this capability, we're adapted to it, and this is the natural posture. Again, you started off in this world uh, when you were a toddler and a young kid being able to do this, and as chronic disease sets in, you've lost that capability. So um, as you're getting more healthy now, it's time to restore that, and uh, this is a natural position that many people would have been in over uh, in, in many cultures their entire lives. So you can see this in Africa, the Middle East, um, the uh, um, East, Eastern countries, uh, that many uh, Asian countries have, uh, Latin America, South America, have this capability where they'll just exist, they'll socialize in this particular state. And it's, it's maintained by little kids all the way through adolescence, all the way into adulthood until they're older. So now you have older people that can squat like this. Older people like in their 70s and 80s and even 90s have this capacity this capability. One, they typically have uh, better diets than what we do in, in westernized standard American diets that we eat. Um, but also it's because they practice this, they maintain this capability, they're in this, and they have this beautiful relationship with the ground. Americans, westerners, we 
have no relation to the ground. We fall on the ground and we can't get back up. Help me, I can't get up. Help me, I fall on, I can't get back up. So people have lost that, that capability on that relationship with the ground. Well, you can preserve that capability by uh, maintaining uh, a squatting position. And when you squat multiple times, you increase your core um, musculature so that you have that capability to get yourself up and down off the ground. So the primal squat is a wonderful way to exist. Rather than sitting, I challenge you to squat multiple times throughout the day. If you can only squat for five seconds, that's fine. Work your way up till you can squat to 30 seconds, a minute, and eventually you'll be able to squat like I can for about a half hour, sometimes 40 minutes uh, in a nice squatted uh, position. So, and do that multiple times throughout the day. I guarantee you're gonna feel better. And let me, let me show you one other thing that's really important for people that have back pain, okay? Let me make you believers. I've never seen anybody else pick this up, but this is where I figured it out. When I go down and do this squatting position, check out my shoulders, okay, right here, okay? They're gonna stay, my butt's gonna come down. When I do that, I have to stretch my butt, I, uh, my back rather. <laughs> You're gonna stretch your, I'm stretching my back and elongating it, which decompresses it. So my shoulders stay here and check that out, okay? As my butt, my perineum is coming down to my Achilles tendon, my shoulders have stayed at that height. The only way that can be achieved is through elongation of the spine. When you elongate the spine, you decompress the spine, improving alignment, improving blood flow to your back, helping restore the tissues in a more natural setting. And it really accomplishes what those um, reverse zero gravity tables, you know, chair thing devices, people put their feet uh, clamped into a bar and they flip themselves up to, upside down to stretch out their backs. Well, now you can do this for free, no table, and get a better alignment than what you get from those zero gravities that just stretch you up vertically. So now you're in a more natural position, decompressing those, those vital muscular skeletal tissues, your vertebral bodies, all the neurologic tissues that exit there, help to get the pressure off them if you get sciatica, and help to improve blood flow. So this is a great position for you. Elongate the back, decompress the back, uh, get yourself healthy. You should try to minimize your profile I can hug myself in this position. It feels awesome. I love it. So I sit routinely like this. I'll read the newspaper. Um, I don't read the newspaper too much these days. It's mostly my cell phone uh, and laptops looking at science, right? Medical science and research. And, uh, and so I, I love to do this. It allows me to be perfectly focused in this position. And after I've been in here for a while, sometimes I get a little fatigued and I want to change a little posture. So I'll come back up and and, uh, and, and change my position. So the primal squat, something you should be doing. I've done it for 11 years. It's a fantastic uh, way of existing uh, throughout the day. And I wanna share with you. So that's my tip. I'll get into the benefits that the primal squat has with regard to gastrointestinal motility and physiology. And in particular, having a bowel movement, which is super important because your capability of having a bowel movement is going away faster than you know. Thanks, Dr. Sean out. We'll see you next time.